I'm not going to make any excuses. I know this video was supposed to go up like three weeks ago and it's all my fault because I was not satisfied with the end results. I thought that if you guys are not getting enough value as compared to the other parts of this series, then uh, there's no point of publishing the video just for the sake of it. And with every video that I publish, I want to make sure that you guys learn something new and you leave with the satisfaction, with that thought in mind that you have not wasted your time. So keeping that in mind, I had to make some modifications uh, shoot the video again and editing does take a lot of my time because I also have a full-time job and this is not an excuse please accept my apology for the delay but I'm desperately trying to find a good video editor so if you're someone with good editing skills please send me an email I'll really appreciate it but here we are with our capsule wardrobe series part 4 and this is called project triple three and if you guys are not aware on what this project is all about then it comes from the fact that you only have to use 33 items for next three months so this is all about putting whatever you have learned so far into practice and the reason why I have used this concept for part four is because in part one you found your personal style everyone can do that after watching the video part two was decluttering your wardrobe again everyone can do that after watching the video part three was all about the foundational pieces you can go online you can buy the same pieces that I showed you in my previous video and build your capsule wardrobe but what I've learned so far in my capsule wardrobe journey is that once you are done with these steps and once you get into your daily routine, you just go back to your old habits. And it's human nature. It's not your fault. It's nobody's fault. Um, I know this happens a lot and 99% of you will agree with me. And with this video, I want to make sure that you are held accountable to take action with your capsule wardrobe. Like I'm held accountable for delaying this video. I don't want you guys to use only 33 items because this project is called like triple three. Uh, it's not a hard and fast rule. If you are satisfied with only 20 pieces, then go for it. Use 20 pieces for the next three months. And why? Because I have put this into practice and sometimes the process gets so draining that you guys will say, I'm not going to listen to her. When you say 33 items, this also includes your accessories uh, like your shoes, bags, belts. I think it was after I published part 3. I got an email from one of my subscribers. Uh, she had two questions and one of them was, what if I don't have uh, money or budget to purchase all these foundational pieces? Can I still uh, create a capsule wardrobe with uh, the random pieces that I have in my closet and answer to that is yes if you don't have uh, money to purchase all those foundational pieces that does not mean that you cannot start your capsule wardrobe so to show you guys that yes you can create a capsule wardrobe with random pieces from your closet and also to keep things interesting so that you guys are not looking at the same pieces again and again i am going to use all these random pieces and some colorful pieces because her next question was is it really important to use all the neutral colors uh, to some extent yes but uh, again, uh, we'll see. Uh, we are trying to keep things interesting and uh, let's see if everything will work out in the end. Because I cannot consolidate everything into this one video and create so many outfits. What I'm going to do is I'm only going to use 11 pieces of clothing from my wardrobe and try to create as many outfits as possible. And by the end of this video, we will count how many outfits I was able to create using these limited pieces so that you get a motivation on where to start and how to start. So I hope I'm making sense. But once I start creating the outfits, you will get an idea of what I'm talking about. Let's start with the bottoms first. I am going to use my light wash mom jeans, black straight leg jeans, and I'm going to use this black satin skirt that you might have seen a lot in my videos. Next are these Bermuda shorts in color beige, a very neutral color that will go with all the other pieces that I have in my mind. I wanted to keep a summer element because we are approaching summer. So if you are interested in uh, including shorts, skirts in your capsule wardrobe, then uh, this will be a good example. This is all for the bottoms. Uh, overall, we have four pieces. 
Uh, let's move on to the tops. If we are discussing capsule wardrobe, you have to have some basic tank tops that you can uh, layer under your shirts or your shrugs, blazers, etc. So the first one is this very basic black tank top. I don't think I have to explain a lot. Next is this very beautiful uh, shade of green, uh, but this one is a cropped. Uh, tank top just to keep things interesting and then I'm going to use a very basic round neck t-shirt in color bright blue because obviously I don't want you guys to think only neutral colors can form a capsule wardrobe. Next is this beige cream uh, top uh, that is also a mixture of tank top but a fancy top so I think this will be very versatile and very useful with all the bottoms that we just talked about so this is the next piece that I'm going to use and of course capsule wardrobe is incomplete without a button down shirt so I have picked this dark blue button down shirt and because I'm going to create outfits for next three months or one month I have to keep in mind that I will be going out for maybe dinner or a party or to a friend's house then I might have to look like put together uh, or dress up a little and that's why I have kept this uh, very nice uh, satin blouse which is like a formal blouse that I usually wear to the office. This is the last piece that I am going to use. It's a very uh, loose flowy again a light green uh, shrug now let's talk about shoes and bags I think everybody's collection is very different from one another so you cannot put your hand on one particular thing and decide that I'm going to use this for next three months so feel free to use anything that you have available in your wardrobe but restrict yourself to a number of three or four pieces because I think anything more than four or five when it comes to accessories will only add to the confusion and it's not helping. Let me quickly show you what I have in my mind. Uh, number one is this uh, crossbody bag, which is very fancy. I think with black tank top and my blue shirt, uh, this uh, black tote bag will go really well. And it's quite spacious, so it's very practical. And for the days when I'm not carrying uh, much stuff, uh, then I can use this crossbody bag in color brown so i have one in black one in brown all neutral colors that i think will go with everything that i have and i feel that because i have bermuda shorts i am going to use uh, this jute uh, tote bag a lot with a lot of my outfits so this makes it four bags for shoes i think i can use uh, these brown sandals for all my casual looks and for the black tank top i might use these uh strappy sandals too because they are black in color and i think they will go with um all the outfits that i have in my mind and because i see uh that black crossbody bag and black satin skirt i think i'm going to use black heels um that will be very useful and last but not the least i think this is very important like basic piece that i'm going to use a lot are my white sneakers so if you go by my calculations i think uh magic number is four uh you can have four bags and four pair of shoes i think that should be enough for next three months and Again, this is not a hard and fast rule. You don't have to be that strict with yourself. This is just to help you guys create a habit because I don't want this series to get finished and then you go back to your same old habits. Uh, I want this to stick with you uh, lifelong. And of course, our personal style changes all the time. Maybe next year you get a new job, you have a new dress code, you will add new items, you will subtract a few items. This is a continuous process. Now let's see how many outfits we can actually actually create. Let's start. One trick that nobody talks about when it comes to capsule wardrobe is that you always start with establishing a baseline with your bottoms. Once you have finalized your jeans, skirts, shorts, it is so easy to visualize outfits that you can create. Here I have divided all my outfits based on this theory or hack, whatever you may want to call it. If I want you to take away anything from this video, it is this concept. So decide the bottoms first and then the tops. Next, I went with my satin skirt and outfit number 9 is kind of a dressed up look. So, all these outfits are very versatile. You can dress these pieces up or down depending on the occasion. Outfit number 10 is a monochromatic base with a belt to cinch in the waist. This blue shirt that you see is actually a part of a set that I received from an Amazon brand called Ziago. And a part of this video is sponsored by them. This set is perfect for summer season and you can style the shirt and shorts separately to make various 
various outfits. I really like the fabric and fit of this set and I can definitely see myself wearing this all the time during summer season. Next set I received is this floral crop top and skirt which again is perfect choice for the days when it is hot outside but you want to feel comfortable and stylish. Again these are two separate pieces so you can style them together or individually. I think this gives you a lot of options and this set in my opinion is a perfect candidate for summer capsule wardrobe. Third piece from the same brand was this gingham skirt. I desperately needed a skirt in lighter shade for the summer season and my number one requirement was that it should be airy, lightweight and made of soft fabric. So when they sent me their collection I thought this checked all the boxes and I was not wrong. I just love it. You can style this in so many ways with shirts, blouses, crop tops you name it. And the last set that I decided to try was this night suit and based on Amazon reviews looks like it is a huge hit and people are going crazy on how soft it is. So I got this one in dark blue color with neon pink lining. You might have seen this in my previous office outfit video. This has definitely become my favorite of all the PJ sets that I own. Worth a try if you are into matching sets and I will leave all the links in the description box down below. Now let's come back to our capsule wardrobe and see See how many outfits I was able to create. beginning of this video I was counting all these outfits but at some point I was so tired that I lost the count. I will put a number on the side up here uh, to see how many outfits I actually created but uh, according to me it should be close to 30 uh, given I had 11 items of clothing which is not bad because otherwise what's the point of me hitting capsule wardrobe. I really hope that you find this video helpful. Actually helpful is not the right word. I would say I hope that this video inspires you to be creative uh, with your closet. So this is part one of your homework that you complete project triple three uh, in next three months and after every one month maybe I'll Put a post up on YouTube to see how you guys are doing. Part two of the homework is uh, to leave a comment below this video asking me a question that can help you with your capsule wardrobe journey. It can be related to your lifestyle, it can be related to your 
uh, body type, maybe you have a concern about your personal style. So it can be anything. Uh, and uh, let me know what I can help you with. For this video, I will be keeping track of all the comments and then I will summarize it in part five. So yes, that is all for today's video and I'll see you guys in my next one.